Racing our Formula One slot cars at Silverstone, coming up next. Welcome back, slot car race fans, to another awesome F1 race league night tonight at Monster Hobbies. Now, in the real world, on July the 14th, 2019, the real world will be racing F1 right down here at Silverstone in England. But tonight, we are actually going to beat that by many, many months because you are going to see us race this awesome track coming up next. And we will be able to tell those race car drivers that are going to race a real deal where the dangerous curves are and where to watch out just by watching this video and where we fall off the track. You will know that that is a dangerous corner. Of course, of course. So. What we want to do here is we want to make sure that this video is in the top Google listings. Of course, when people are looking for the real one. And in order to do that, we need your help. And how can you help? Well, it's very simple. All you need to do is like, subscribe, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever we make another awesome slot car race video, which we'll be doing, of course, you are the first one to be able to see it and help us to get this video up to 100 likes so that we can get this thing so that the drivers and the pit crew and everybody that's going to be racing F1 will be able to find this video and see it and find out where the dangerous curves are before they actually have to race the real Silverstone. So many of you have been following us throughout this whole league so far and we want to know in the comments below who you are rooting for. Is it me? Is it Mark? Is it Kevin? Is it Howard? Is it Glenn? Or is it Josh? There's six of us. So which driver do you think is going to win the final league? Let us know where it is so far and we can always check back later in the future. So while we're checking out things, also don't forget to check out our website www.monster-hobbies.ca if you want, follow us on Facebook. We also have a Twitter account and for cool pictures from Monster Hobbies, check out us on Pinterest. We'd also like to thank you guys at this moment for helping us get a lot of these videos up to the 50 like mark. We only have 50 more likes to get on those videos and they have broken the 100. So let's keep it up for this video. And now without further ado, let's go down to the race. Yeah. 
After eight exciting races, I ended up with 33 points. Josh got 66, making him the star of the night. Kevin got 40, Mark got 24, and Glenn got 29. So good racing there. Now let's check out the overall league standings. So far in our five races in this race league, I'm in first place with 193 points. Josh is second with 163. Howard is in 5th place with 100, Kevin is in 4th with 148, Mark is 3rd place with 160, and Glenn is in 6th with 79. Hello everybody and welcome to the end of the race. We're actually sitting here in the Monster Hobbies office section of the store, which is really just a corner with some cool pictures. <laughs> but I thought I would try to answer three questions that you, the subscribers, leave in the comments sections below. So, I'm gonna start with one from Mark's Snake Pit, and he says, I see some of the cars have headlights. How about a night race at the Sebring track? Well, Mark, that would be a really awesome thing to do. Uh, as you noticed, a lot of the cars have headlights, mostly like things like the AC Cobras and the other production cars all have headlights. Our F1s, of course, 
do not because the real F1s don't have headlights. But um, I've often thought of doing the night racing and it would be cool as you say. There is one problem with it though. If we turn off all the lights and monster hobbies and do this night race and a car falls off the track, automatically the second that it lifts off, you know, even like this much, headlights turn off because there's no power to the car. So, uh, of course, as you know from our videos and watching Glenn, <laughs> he seems to be the car catcher. Hi, Glenn. And uh, yeah, as you can tell, he's busy like catching cars because they're going all in the air. Now, if all the lights are turned off, Glenn wouldn't know where the cars were and we probably end up stepping on a whole bunch. So there's only really one way to do that and that's to have a dimmer switch hooked up to all our lights in here so we could turn it down just enough so there's enough light to see where the cars are gonna go without like completely losing them. And unfortunately, I don't, I'm not an electrician and I'm renting the building so I don't think I'll ever get a dimmer switch. So good idea, but can't happen right now, but we'll consider it for future. Okay, next question. All right, our next question comes from Matt Graham, and he says, I live in Okotoks. Can I join a race late? Yes, yes you can. If we're actually running a race and you want to join in and it's late, well, you're going to have to realize that you may not, uh, you know, come in first at the end of the league. But, you know, if you want to have fun and you got a car, a car suited to the league that we're racing, you can come on down and get it. I mean, race it. And uh, if we have cars in stock, of course, we can let you in. So it's not a big deal. And just so you know, we change the leagues and the cars and everything every two months. So if you're a bit late, you know, and you think you want to get into the next one, we do them January, March, May, <laughs> July, September, and then November. So there's six, six in total. And our final thought is a great classic story from Peppermint Cat Sass, who says, I remember what those electric motors smelled like when we ran them hard in the 1960s and how the lights in our 1940s house would dim down when we had both cars wide open. Good times. And yes, that's, that does sound like a good time, Peppermint, and thank you for sharing that with all of us. And say, if you have a good story like that of your slot car racing days, something funny that happened, maybe a car flew out a window and got hit by a truck in the street below, let us know in the comment section below because we love that kind of stuff. And I always want to include one of these in the end of the videos from here on out. So keep them coming. Questions and good stories. Well, I hope you enjoyed that amazing slot car race and tune in next week when we'll be racing the Hockenheim in Germany to start off February with our amazing F1 cars. And hopefully that order will pass through customs and Glenn will get his F1. Keep your fingers crossed and your eyes crossed. No, don't keep your eyes crossed. You might walk into a lamppost, but we won't want that to happen. So anyway, what we want to happen is we want at Monster Hobbies, we want to teach you how to build your own version of this track. And I've got a special video as well, and it is how to think about building your own track. It's like the ultimate, right out of my brain, how does Trevor build these things without having a plan or anything like that, other than just a regular drawing on, you know, aerial photography drawing of like Sebring or something. How does Trevor do it? How does he do it? Well, I've got that video. I just finished making it. And the only way you can see that special video plus all our track builds is by doing one thing, one thing only. And that is go to our Patreon page and become a patron. And all the mysteries of track building excitement will be released to you. And now I'd like to thank our three patrons over here for supporting us month after month and helping us make these great videos. And say, if you want to become a patron too, just hop over to Patreon. The link is in the descriptions below. And now before you go, please once again help us get this video to reach 100 likes. And in order to do that, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and click the notification bell so that every time we make a new track, you get the notification first. And guess what? Next week we will be building Hockenheim and you will definitely want to watch us race there. So until next time, race fans, happy racing!